What's up, guys? All right, so we're back at it again. It's Saturday morning. Um, I've been really sucking at posting them. I'm working on getting three a week in, like uh, either Sunday or Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And it's kind of not working out for me, but this is my first week of the four working four tens. And it wore my ass out because I actually work more like four 11 and a halfs or four 12s. So um, by the time I get home, I don't feel like doing it. And when by the time I wake up in the morning and actually want to get up, it's about time to get ready to go to work. So bear with me. I'm figuring it out. But uh, we're going to start today off with I'm going to get the bed cleaned out on the parts truck. It's got... It's a catch-all. It's a truck. It's an Oklahoma truck. It was turned into a catch-all, but I'm going to get it cleaned out so that we can get the uh, fuel pump out of it, the basket, because if y'all remember our, uh, well, I already threw it away. Oh, damn copyright claims. Uh, we already threw all that shit away. I think James might have sat it down somewhere and hit it I think he did anyways uh, I looked for the little sock should be right here in the trash can I looked for these um, I didn't really look on like Amazon but I looked at like O'Reilly's or whatever just to buy just just a new pump and the sock and they don't sell it like that they sell the whole sending unit basket fuel level sensor all of it all in one thing which I don't want to pay as much as those costs. I don't want to pay that much just to cut 80% of it apart. So, um, I drove that truck over here. So I know the fuel pump works. Um, so we're, we need to pull the bed off anyways, cause I'm trying to sell it. It's easier to sell if it's already off and by itself. So we're going to get the bed pulled off, get the fuel pump out of it so we can steal the pump and sock and put it on this basket and then I don't know what else we're going to do today I might actually get my thumb out of my ass and get to the adapting the fuel lines I might not um, I think we'll definitely make a dent and uh, once James gets done with the fuel pump me and him will probably work on I'm going to have him kind of teach me some of his wire management skills because a lot of this bulk right here is just because I just like panicked and wadded it up and taped it because I needed it to be in that shape so now that we have the shape um, I can have James help me just because um, most of these I just looped and kinked and he might have a better way around that to make it not so bulky in some spots because if I could get it down to this thickness, that'd be awesome. I don't think I can. I think it's for sure going to be like at least inch, inch and a half minimum. I don't know. So that's where we're at. That's what we're going to try to get knocked out today. If we get more done, cool. If we get less done, oh well. So here we go. James in here dicking around. Clean off all the valuable stuff. You didn't even tell me I was coming come out here and look and he's in here pillaging and plundering just kidding he uh what did you even start doing oh the cluster and then he started taking the vents out you know it's riveted right you're gonna he man it off of there watch it come off <laughs> Let's see what he's got, boys. He's gonna fucking show out. <laughs> what rivets? Huh? The way you huff every time you do something that exerts like over 40% body energy, <laughs> you do shit and then you're just like, <sighs> <laughs> I 
But I got that motherfucking thing. Y'all know what I'm about to do. Got this bitch cleaned out. And uh, it filled this entire dumpster. Was new. Oh, shit. Hang on now, girl. It ain't time to fall apart yet. But I'm gonna crawl under this nasty bitch. And uh, let's get them bed bolts done. Alright, so we got the bed tilted up. Uh, one, of, All the bolts came out smooth except for like the second from the back one. It like spun out the threads on the frame. You can see it sticking out right there. It like spun out in there where it would just sit there and just spin, spin, spin. So took the grinder to it, whacked the head of it off. <laughs> whack the head off but uh now we're at the fuel pump we can get to it just fine so have james uh do his fuel pump magic converting and then um we'll have our fuel pump situation figured out then we can move on to probably the harness get get some of that fingered out so yeah all right so we've done some fiddling today and what was wrong with this new bike that i got is the carburetors got some bad juju on it taking that off we realized he got rid of the the cable cap screw is not it's just a fucking plastic cap that he taped on there and then I put some gas in the gas tank because I remember there being gas in it, but there wasn't, and the gas tank leaks. So between all that and this being an electric start and a fully automatic, I just... We already planned to swap the motor. Yeah, so it came with this motor, which is a kickstart four-speed, and I'm about that. So we're going to take this motor out, put this motor in, and then take my non-leaking gas tank and brand new carburetor, put it on here, and then we'll have one functioning bike. So then we'll just have a parts bike, which the motor's good on that one. It's just, the, this whole swing arm sprocket chain situation is ridiculous. I just, it's. Gas tank for 15 bucks on Amazon. Yeah, it's, it's. We can put the parts that we take off back on it. Yeah, we'll fi we'll figure this. This bike's getting laid to rest for right now. It it'll get dealt with later. Maybe turn into a trike. Ooh, maybe I don't know. But yeah, so right quick because it's not like putting a motor in this piece of crap. This piece of crap because it's not running yet. We we'll say that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're saying that now main thing for y'all to remember so you can roast us or not is it's daylight right now when we're starting this and if it's dark by the time we get done then you know that we were full of shit or we got really sidetracked <laughs> so y'all be the judge here we go all right first things first jam let's start with the exhaust done damn you're so fast So, uh, yeah, so we swapped the motor and um, 
we've concluded that there's no compression in it. So we took the other motor we had apart because we knew it ran and then we saw that this piston is race ready. You can tell because it's self clearanced. Um, and the cylinder is not terrible, but there's a couple. <laughs> as bad as that looks coming from cars, this motherfucker ran like it ran normal. It didn't knock. It didn't do any weird shit, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut our losses. I'm going to build one motor, this one, I'm going to build it. But for now I know my sun -old motor runs. So I'm just going to take it, stick it on here so I can ride for now while I order some parts and build me a real motor. I, I know I said 125 is the limit, but might have to bore that bitch out or something. Big boy or kid or something. But we're going to get that swap because we got Lee, uh, Lee stopped by with his little two stroke piece of crap. So I got to get all the four strokes I can out there to compensate for that high pitched ass bullshit that comes out of those pipes. So we're going to get this motor swap and uh, try it again. Well, I was like, hey, come here. All right. So James's shit runs, piece of shit. Even your new bike runs. <laughs> <laughs> So the tiny death machine's living up to its freaking name. We put my Sun L motor in here, changed the sprocket, the front sprocket, got the chain to quit binding. We're, I thought I was in the fucking money, went out there, the big turn, the fucking chain pops off again. And I'm like, all right, bitch. So I throw it back on, come back up here, adjust it some more, make it tight, go out there, same fucking turn, it chucks off again. I'm like, fuck it, well, we'll go up there and tighten it again. Well, I chucked the chain back on, go to take off. I was fucking dragging James's ass, click it into second, and it just put so much fucking power to the ground, it blew the damn tire off. So, again, I, I got one of the faster ones, but it won't fucking stay together for a full lap, so <laughs> what? what <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, that's the fastest one that's the fastest one so so whose shit is this your shit yeah. you motherfucker no you can't fix the carburetor you have to leave it janky no, like, sir. <laughs> no, sir. this is the guy to watch out for now so y'all see hammer this blue humdinger it's it's a real man's bike i'm letting it slide because it's a 125 it's 85 or 80 that, what no no it ain't no YG i don't give a fuck what the sticker says five let me see. Let me check the Carfax. I don't know what the right fuck there. I'm looking at. Right there, 84 cm cubed, 85 cc's. Cubed? What the fuck is? This is rocket science to me. So yeah, that's well shit. If that's an 85, dude, that thing fucking gets. We're in deep shit, dude. The fucking host can't even get his shit running. I, I'm gonna stop. We're gonna fire the grill up. I'm gonna have some fucking food a and a lot of beer. Shit, maybe it'll run. If I get enough beer in me, I'll come up with some earth shattering idea. But yeah, that's that's where we're at for now. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's kind of this shit right here is wearing me out. This from from here back in this area on these piece of shits is fucking wearing me out. <laughs> this is all that's left of the original Sunol. <laughs> None of it, <clears throat> but anyways, we're gonna get to grilling and uh, drinking and have a good time. So, skeet. I couldn't find those wheels. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is fucking bold, yeah. son. What happened, James? What kicked happened? You're gonna you're gonna come here and say this man's kicked you over. On my own damn bike. It has juju on it. I told you it did. You must have killed me because I got a new bike. <laughs> you went from a bike that couldn't hurt a fly to a eh bike. And you almost died. Let's, let's go over to yours. 
Hey, we already talked about it, okay? <laughs> we already talked about it. I got a sad ass tire situation. I got a sad ass whole rear end situation, okay? We we've established that. That's sad ass. Sad ass. Ass horn. Shut up. You know. Want to show the star of the day? Not Kyle, my buddy. This man <laughs> already has a red bullseye on him. I don't care if he ain't on this. This man's has a bullseye on him. They're just slow. That's all I can say. The bike and him. This motherfucker. He, I, I swear, I want, I want a professional to check this shit. There ain't no fucking way. And if there is, if this is bone ass stock and this is the way it's supposed to be, then by God, the fucking twelve hundred bikes are twelve hundred bucks for a reason because these well, China bikes are the same fucking motor and all this shit, and that thing is like. The T stroke. You know, live fast, eat ass. That's all it's about. I don't That's give a my damn. That's is faster than yours. He does have a point. Because the fucking tire's flat, yeah. okay? Before that, too. No. Chain issues? No. <laughs> <laughs> my shit's gonna run, okay? And I'm gonna fucking show y'all. How to make it not fucking <laughs> Two stroke <laughs> shit. Look, it's got a fucking radiator. We need to get a sticker that says, like, raise hell, praise Dale. Fuck <laughs> <Like, laughs> it. But yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be about it for this. Uh, the the hosts have collectively had a day. My shit, I got fucking got my hopes up. Thought I had my shit figured out, and uh, apparently I don't. Apparently, that's right. That's right. It's real. Y'all that came along to see failure and shit, here we are. Here the fuck we are. Because I'm gonna show y'all <laughs> shit fucks up and when shit don't. So James's bike only suffered a little broken clutch lever, and uh, he broke part of his fender. I guess this is why Ronnie, uh, Uncle Ronnie, cuts his fenders so he can't break them. I think that's I think that's what that's about. <laughs> so that's about it for today. Um, we gotta do some track work, and I'm yeah, well, some whatever. Work yeah, so, <laughs> some rider work. Yeah, we gotta bust some more nuts on that, and yeah, uh, twenty dollars an, <laughs> an hour gets my ass, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, and then fifty dollar track rental per rider. <laughs> I'm gonna go somewhere else. Fuck you. I'm gonna fuck the track up and do it all different so they don't know what the fuck they're doing again. We learn quick. Anyways, we're out. That's about it. Uh, me and James got some more work to do. Again, he suffered some bodily injuries, but he's got a fucking $10 part to unbolt and bolt back on, and he's fucking back in the game, and I've got a whole fucking shit show to deal with, so. Whatever. That's it, and uh, see y'all next time. Later. <laughs>